Right, got to the Black Hill Trek Point. Hinkley Point over there. There's Zellsbury Hill Fort where I was earlier. I climbed up this, up there and then walked this side of it. I've done it all before. I know, I, you could blindfold me up here. I know my way. Yeah, it's been a great walk. Right, now over there, there's an, a cairn on top of that. That's a burial heap. Um, I won't remember the name until I get there. But anyway, we've just left Black Hill. This is Black Hill, which right I climbed then. up the other side. Um, we got off the track. We more likely to get run over by a bike up here than anywhere else. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm walking off, I'm not supposed to have bikes here. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm walking off track. Our coombs just down there, and the plantation, we haven't really, really got far to go if you think about it, but I'm doing the wider walk round. So I'm not just going sort of there and round, I'm going to go round like that. Oh yeah, mm. I mean it would be nice to go down Somerton Coombe, back that way. But I'm enjoying this so much. I look back, there's a Jowsbury Hill Fort over there, look. Okay. It'll get further and further away. As we progress. <sighs> yeah. Higher Hair Nap, we would have gone up that route there. To Higher Hair Nap, which is over there. The route we'll do in a month's time, uh, seven weeks time, or very close to it. <sighs> yeah, I had a nice cooling ice cream, it definitely cooled me down. It's quite blowy on this side, is it? Yes, yeah, coming off the Atlantic. There's a great big, there's a mark right in the distance, that's the path going up to the Beacon Hill, which I also did a week or so ago. Yeah, that ice cream van was soda powered, by the way. Someone said it was the greenest ice cream van around. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going round like that. Not up over the top, are you? Yeah. <sighs> Lots of rabbit dung. Yeah, I've come this round purpose. So many bikes about. Is there? Yeah. It's quite dark, doesn't it, from here? It wasn't blowy or cold in there, though. Wasn't it? No. It wasn't blowy or cold. Now, because it's blowy, it makes you think it's going to go a different way.
It might be time to put an extra top on, you know. Might have. Mm. Might be. Might be time to put a top on. Right here we've got the Holes Way post. Right behind us there, we've got the Dosbury Hill Fort. Wish I was at earlier, walking through. Now we're going to go, we've got a choice of... We're going to go straight up, I've decided, today. There is something up there though. I don't know what it is. It's been there for ages. Something white. I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh yeah, go and find out. Of course all this is round about um, all this here is um, near Crocombe because I used to, through that wood there I used to come up from through that wood when I got the bus and the train I used to come up through there and get out here that was one of my places I'd stop and, uh, and get off with the bus and then I got off and I'd, I'd get back on either Crocombe or Triscum, it was too dangerous at West Bagborough. The bus stop was precariously positioned. Now over there we've got the big herd of cows. I, I won't be able to see, but they're over there somewhere. I think that might be them there. Big herd of brown cows, which apparently there is a big bull, but I don't know if it's that lot or, the, or further up. Apparently, just um, do you think it's on or not? It's one of the biggest problems I have with this. I didn't have the problem when I was in the wood. They, they ought to be a flashing light at the top so you can tell if it's on. I did see it, it is on. <sighs> right, you got quite nippy a minute ago. <sighs> Yeah, whoever was up there, they had a white t-shirt on or something, and they were there for ages and ages. Now you're gone now. I kept thinking it was a very slow moving horse. And, uh... <sighs> Isn't it funny how somebody else can influence how you feel, even when you don't really know them, but you met them and... They sort of inspired you. <clears throat> you know, we don't know, we don't meet all the musicians, do we? Or the poets. <sighs> but they inspire, or the artists, they inspire us. And it's the same with living people you might meet fleetingly. But those, those moments can be quite, have quite an impact on you. It's true, that is true. That's why film people go to plays or dramas. Um, <clears throat> it cannot change your life, but um, give you a different way of seeing things. And uh, she's, uh, this person I met, she's reminded me about the fragility of our planet. <sighs> but of course it always comes down to, if, well, what can we do? She said that herself. What can we do? <clears throat> yeah, so... And of course it influences how you feel, but of course when I come out here, even if I am a bit down, by the end of the walk, I'm absolutely fine.
Yeah, by the end of the walk, I've been lifted. My spirits are usually lifted if they're a bit down, I mean. Which they can be with various events going on in your family. Um, sometimes you just feel a bit despondent for a variety of reasons. And you can feel elated and overjoyed with happiness. And you come out here and it just reinforces and helps. And I've been coming out here a lot, and I will when I have more of this sort of opportunity. I will. I've always really wanted to come out here when it's covered in snow. You know, but we don't get snow very often now. Hardly ever. Yeah, so my walk today has been inspiring. It's been, I don't know, um, embraced by some, by the spirit of somebody else who's, who's um, she's just inspired me, that's all. Nothing, I just, I just needed somebody like that. I haven't had anyone like that for ages. And that's how quick it was when I first met her. It was quick. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have to think. Oh well, she so might see you again. So you know, it wasn't like that. It was like, wow. Of course, I couldn't find her for ages because I couldn't remember her name. I am terrible with names. Honestly, I really am. I, when I was a teacher, you know, I used to have to remember not just 30 kids in a class. All the different classes I taught. And most of the time I was younger, so I didn't get, really get it wrong very often. But I know that there was a couple of times when, if I thought a boy was called John, and even though he would tell me, I'm, but I'm not John, Miss, I'm Peter. And do you know what, even though I knew, I would still call him John. Now that has happened to me loads of times in life. There was a, an old, much older bloke, he used to sit in his garden, I didn't really know him that well, but I always thought he was called, what I think he was called, I can't remember now, but apparently he was called Duncan. But I always used to call him something completely different. And there's another bloke. I still don't know if he's John or Rolf. Um, he replies to both now when he sees me. It's so funny that. So for me not to remember someone's name is not unusual. But I remembered the, the little dog's name, Jet. I didn't forget the dog's name. And when I was trying to find out where she was so I could say bye, hi, whatever, most people knew who I meant when I mentioned the dog. Some of them didn't know what she was called either. But in the end, somebody who did was aware of her. Um, she was laughing, not laughing, but she was, you could tell she was okay with it. And she just said, she let it slip, the name. Yeah. All I know about the name is it had an L and a K in it. So, I got... Yeah. I don't know, yeah, it might... It's distance, you don't... It can't sort of just... It's good, really. Distance keeps you distant. You can't really overdo it, can you? Because you're out, you've got that gap. But you can be pen friends. And that's the good thing about Facebook, I find. I've just located my friend Colleen in Turkey. She goes on WhatsApp. She don't do Facebook no more. Well, she does. She's got it. And she did communicate with me after me trying to get hold of her for two years. In the end, she came on. I said, please, to one of her friends, please, can she just say hi or something? 
So I said, so I know she's all right. And um, now I've got a number. So one quiet moment, I should contact her, and I should, or I'll give her my number. But I don't know if that's her. See, I still don't know if that's her. I'm giving my number to till I hear her voice. But I so I'll ring her first. They can still get my number though if I ring her, can't they? Big pack, but they're gone down there. Big, 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 beefy cows. Now when I did Holford about two weeks ago, when I did Holford, what that was, the cows are all down the glen. So I was so lucky then I want a bull. Because I was walking down through the glen. I know that there were cows the other side of the stream. Stream won't stop a cow, herd of cows. And there they were. Two, three sort of biggish cows with horns. I didn't check out what sex they were. I just sort of got past them as quickly as I could. <laughs> one did stare at me and one did stamp his feet or her foot. But I got through. But I thought it just scared me. Never in my whole life have I seen cows down down the glen like that. I never seen them down there, ever. Did we come up that bit? Yeah. We came up that bit. Shada, you must have forgot about that bit. Yeah, where that person was waiting for ages and ages. We're going to go up over the top, although I think last time I was here, we went round that edge. I'm feeling quite good. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm feeling quite good. I've got, um, I've been eating nothing, really, apart from the chocolate. I didn't even feel hungry, to tell the truth. <sighs> what I should have done is made a cheese and tomato sandwich. That would have been nice to have gone back to the car with. But I've got other stuff. I've got some, che I've still got some little, some little cheeses and stuff. Um, but I haven't ate anything really. I've got cake as well. I just, I don't know if it's me training myself not to eat when I'm walking because of indigestion. I think in a way it is. I'm just saying don't, don't, you know, get indigestion, don't eat it. Like I've got a hill to do now, look. Here we go, look. There's our beautiful whole thread. Oh, we haven't got it on, chill. You could do Lady's Edge, chill, if you want. Instead of going down through the glen, what do you think? I do like the glen, though. I, I do like going... The, the only part of that walk I don't like is the very end. Um, it's, it does get... Uh, not boring, but it's just something about the very last stage. <sighs> Once I've left the, the Fords and uh, and everything, but I think if I would miss not going down that way, but I have been down there have two weeks ago down that way. I could do Ladies Edge instead, and then down past the plantation, <sighs> or you could go down Holford. Well, I'll decide when I get to Bicknoller Post. Over and out.